Give me a rally bread icon, but make it a wagon and more comfy? Yes, please. It's time to see if the fifth generation Subaru WRX has maintained any of its gnarly nostalgia in this family friendly body style. Let's check it out. The WRX moniker brings a rich history of raw seat of your pants motoring, a car often reserved for enthusiasts. But in 2022 form, it's softened, and in sports wagon guys, even more so. But what does that mean for a motoring icon? And if you've never driven one before, does it matter? The first WRX sports wagon since 2014 is offered in three trim levels of WRX, GT, and top spec TS, with around $7,000 separating the bunch. Straight to the important stuff, there's a bonnet scoop, LEDs front and rear, dual exhaust pipes, privacy glass, and all new WRX roll on 18 inch alloys as standard. Out with the old and in with the new, the entire WRX range is powered by a 2.4 litre turbo petrol four cylinder boxer engine paired to an intelligent all wheel drive system. The WRX sedan gets a choice of manual or CVT automatic transmission, but the sports wagon is offered with the eight speed CVT only. It feels sporty and tech savvy in here. Red stitching and a large screen can have that effect. It doesn't take long, however, to realize that those traits run deep in the WRX. A really long equipment list for starters. Electric adjust heated leather sports seats with two position memory are supremely comfy and supportive. Keyless entry with push button start, dual zone climate control, an electric park brake, multifunction steering wheel, auto up and down for all four windows are welcome. Ergonomics are good and the tilt and slide glass sunroof really brightens up their cabin. The red stitching complements the carbon fiber accents which flow through the entire cabin. It feels quite stylish and sophisticated, but in a very practical and durable Subaru kind of way. Front of cabin storage is a little light on, limited to smaller items like phones, keys and drink bottles. The sizable glove box is your best bet for concealed storage. This 11.6 inch color touchscreen brings the WRX into the modern day in both form and function. While it looks a little bit busy initially, it works really well, kind of in sections. The top part has a lot of driver information. The middle part acts as your home screen, including Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And the bottom third is about climate control. For drivers who still are averse to the touch screen, there are buttons and dials for tuning, volume and temperature control. And then there's the multifunction steering wheel that also has some shortcuts. The instrumentation panel is clear and easy to see and you've got a variety of information in there but a fully digital display would up the stakes here and you're well within reason to expect it at this price point. A reversing camera with front, rear and side views are easy to access via a single button. The WRX Sports Wagon brings the best of Subaru's safety credentials too. The second row offers a large flat seat base, which is great for two adults or three kids. The seats are firm, but very comfortable and head and leg room is really good. You'll find two USB charge points, two directional air vents, seat back pockets, indoor drink bottle storage, a central light, fold down armrest with two cup holders, and the outboard seats are heated. The roof mounted center seat belt is an aesthetic gripe and fiddly to stow when you need, but it does the job perfectly. There are two Isofix positions and three top tether child seat anchors. An electric tailgate reveals a generous boot and then 40, 20, 40 split fold seats bring even greater load flexibility to this wagon body style. The retractable cargo cover is a little fiddly and awkward. I can see it being left on the front porch in most cases. There's a light, four anchor points, two bag hooks and buttons that quickly flip the second row seats to reveal a flat load space you'll find a temporary spare beneath the boot floor. Packaging and practicalities are well sorted, but the Subaru WRX of old has always been about the drive. So let's go. The first thing I notice about the WRX is just how comfortable it is. 
you get in and it's easy to get a good driving position and everything sort of falls into place nicely. It means you can just focus on driving. The 8-speed CVT in the sports wagon does a brilliant job of delivering smooth power in a predictable way. Throttle response is great and there's a nice weight and feedback to the steering. There's a heft that sees the WRX sit planted on the road. Pace is immediate and the brakes deliver reliable stopping power too. So has dynamic grip and growl given way to family functionality? Well, a little bit, but only to the degree that this sports wagon will absolutely speak to its target market, the family car buyer. This change in handling and dynamics is no accident. Instead of a rigid ride, you'll find softer suspension setup geared to ride comfort and effortless handling. It's a fun and engaging drive, but never onerous and without compromise to its core appeal. Don't like it? Buy the sedan. The WRX is refined and quiet. It behaves just with no fuss and fanfare. The kind that a manual sedan may well command. The WRX sips 95 Ron petrol and is claimed to be good for 8.5 litres per 100 kilometres on a combined cycle. Outward vision is great and on top of this you've got clever driver assist technology and multiple camera angles. You're pretty well covered. If you're one of the many Rex faithful, you'll notice the much softer approach of the sports wagon. Never been in a WRX before? You're going to thoroughly enjoy this one. I reckon it's going to broaden the appeal of the WRX. Warranty and service provisions are on par with the competition as are five-year cap price service plans. An expanded WRX lineup among a tamed down offering tells a case of a wild child matured. But we reckon Subaru knows what buyers want and this WRX sports wagon is likely to sell itself. If you're the family that loads up with bums on seats and baggage for days and values sporty, tech savvy and refined motoring that's more than just transport, this could be the one for you.